Have you ever heard of a ghost flight? The plane is cruising, but the passengers inside look like statues. They didn't move until they crashed. August 14, 2005. Helios Airways 522 from Cyprus to Athens, waiting to take off at Larnaca Airport. This is a Boeing 737. There were 115 passengers and six crew members on the flight. The captain, John, is a veteran Helios Airways pilot. Nick, the co-pilot also has extensive flying experience. After obtaining permission from the tower to fly, Flight 522 took off. If all goes well, they would have arrived at their destination in an hour. But the plane had just climbed to 34,000 feet. An alarm suddenly sounded in the cockpit. After testing the aircraft, Nick discovered that it was the aircraft's takeoff alarm. But what puzzled them was that the alarm usually only sounds on the ground. Unsure of what the problem was, John contacted the tower for technical assistance. But as soon as the radio came on, the main warning light suddenly came on. While they were discussing how to troubleshoot the problem, all the oxygen masks in the cabin suddenly fell off. The flight attendant immediately calmed the passengers' fears and told everyone to keep their masks on and not to move around. But John was oblivious to what was happening behind him. He was still distracted by the sound of the sirens. But that's when they lost contact with the tower. An hour soon passed. Even Flight 522 which was scheduled to land at that moment. It was still on its initial flight path. What's even more bizarre is that it kept hovering in the air. It has no intention of landing. Air traffic control tried to call the captain, but never received any response. At this point, there was speculation that the plane might have been hijacked, so the military immediately dispatched warplanes to check it out. But when the pilots saw what was going on in the cabin, they were completely stunned by what they saw. All were seen motionless with their oxygen masks on. The fighter pilot immediately reported this information. And that's when, a mysterious man stumbled into the cockpit and steered the plane towards the mountains to the north. But in the blink of an eye, Flight 522 suddenly began to plummet. The fighter pilot kept waving his arms. He managed to get the man's attention. But radio failure prevented direct communication between the two. Eventually, the plane crashed head-on into the ground and burst into flames. Firefighters immediately rushed to the crash site. But all 100 and 21 people on board were killed. In the aftermath of the accident, the air crash investigation team was the first to arrive at the crash site. The fire had not yet been extinguished. The wreckage of the plane and the remains of the victims were scattered around the scene. The scene was extremely tragic. Fortunately, the black box from the plane was soon found. Technicians immediately carried out research and analysis in the laboratory. It turned out that the plane had not been hijacked. It had run out of fuel and crashed. On the other hand, autopsy reports of the victims indicated that all those on board the plane had died in the crash. Which means everyone was still alive until the plane crashed. But why were they all unconscious? To solve this mystery, investigators still need to find out what happened to the plane before it crashed. After a detailed study of the cockpit wreckage, crews found a shocking clue. The plane's supercharger was on manual mode. It turns out that before Flight 522 took off, security personnel had conducted a pressurization test on the aircraft. But when he finished, he inadvertently did not return the knob to automatic mode. As the aircraft rose in altitude, the booster was not working in manual mode. The oxygen in the cabin became thinner and thinner. Eventually, the people People on board fell into a coma one by one. But who was the mystery man in the cockpit? Why does everyone pass out? But he is the only one who stays awake. After the accident, technicians extracted the recordings from the black boxes. The identity of the mystery man has finally been revealed. The man's name is Andre. He's a retired Air Force pilot. In addition to this, he is also a diving enthusiast with a huge lung capacity. When the plane was in an emergency, Andre tried to contact the captain, but there was no response. So he decided to get up and check the situation. Using his extra oxygen mask, Andre managed to get into the cockpit. He found Found that both captains had collapsed. He immediately put a mask on co-pilot Nick. He tried to revive him, but there was very little fuel left in the plane. Andre had to keep calling for help over the radio, but what he didn't know was that the communication system had failed. The people on the ground couldn't hear his cries for help. With no experience of flying large passenger aircraft, Andre had to balance the plane as best he could in the extreme lack of oxygen. But as fate would have it, it was all in vain. After Flight 522 ran out of fuel, the plane crashed to the ground at a tremendous speed. I have to say, Andre was a heroic pilot, even at the moment of death. He was still holding on to the controls and trying to fight his fate. It's really admirable. And what's even more sad is that his fiance was also on board the plane. They were eventually buried together. Air 522 was the worst crash in Greek history. This was a tragic disaster caused by poor maintenance and negligence on the part of the crew. The airline added two additional warning lights to the booster to prevent a recurrence of this type of accident. Air crashes change aviation history. May every flight reach its destination safely. 
don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on recap next